Let me go over compound gear ratios for this video. Notice that gears B and C are sharing a fixed point, or you could also say it's sharing that shaft. So they're going to rotate at the same RPM, and that's whenever you know that you have, have a compound gear. All right, so let's go ahead and work the first problem. The first thing we need to do is we need to get the gear ratio before we can do anything else. So this first example here is just showing you how to find that gear ratio. It's not like the idle gears. They truly are two separate gear ratios and then we are multiplying them together. We have in this one, we have A and B connected to each other. Right? Those two are meshed. Then B and C are on the same shaft. They are moving at the same rate. And then we have C and D meshed together. So we have two separate gear ratios that we're going to multiply together. Okay, so we've got gear A is going to be our driving gear. And gear D is our final uh, driven gear. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. We've got, uh, just looking for gear ratio, I have number of teeth given, so I'm going to use the in out over number of teeth in. So gear A is my in, so I'm going to put 120 on the bottom, and on the top I'm going to put, it's meshed with gear B, so I am going to put 40. Then for the second part, I've got gear C is driving gear D. So gear C is my in, so I'm going to put 80. And then gear D is going to be 20. Now I'm going to multiply these together. I'm going to multiply across the top. 40 times 20 gives me 800. And 120 times 80 gives me 9,600. Now I'm going to simplify that down. All right, I see that 800 will go into 9,600 12 times. So that is 1 over 12. All right, so my gear ratio is 1 to 12 or 0 point zero eight three to one. Notice how small of a number this is. So our gear ratio is one twelfth, one to twelve. So that is pretty large gear ratio. It's because we go from a larger gear to a smaller gear and then a larger gear to a smaller gear. So we're able to get higher gear ratios with compound gears than we are with just meshing the two together or having those idle gears in between. So now with this problem, I already have my gear ratio because I've already found it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that my gear ratio is 1 over 12. I think that might be easier to work with than um, the 0 0.083. So 1 to 12, and I'm going to set that equal to, this is what speed is gear A if I know that gear D is 360 RPM. So our N value all right, is what we're looking for, and remember how the uh, angular velocity is opposite. So my N is on top, and my out is on bottom whenever I'm looking at angular velocity. So 360 RPM is my out. That's what I know. I'm wondering what the N is, so I've made it X. And my gear ratio, I've said, is 1 12th. So I say 360 RPM times 1. And then I divide that by 12. And that's going to give me 30 RPM.